I'm Lucy with Ross Monster and today I want to show you around our latest Sprinter 174x4. Before we step inside, I'll talk about a few exterior highlights of this build. So starting on the passenger side from the ground up, we have a Sprinter 2500 4x4 rip kit. We have upgraded wheels and tires, so we have a method wheel with a KO2 tire. We have Alvan's fender flares and then we're also going to have Linex on the rocker guard and the hood. Moving up from there, we have a Fiamma F45 awning, and we also have an RRE Global pop top all the way at the top, which is going to allow this rig to sleep up to six people. Lastly, at the sliding door, we have RB Components bug screens. We have some LED rigid lights at the um, four perimeters of the van's top. And then we also have a custom Ross Monster Max Track table mounting system in the rear. Let's check out the front. In the front of the vehicle here, you can see that we have a California tuned front bumper. We have some Baja Designs LP9 fog lights. We also have some spotlights in the bumper there. We have a hood spoiler, and then we also have a secondary LED light bar all the way at the top. Let's check out the rear. In the rear of the vehicle here, we have an Alvan's ladder and tire carrier. We also have an Alvan's Sherpa cargo carrier, and then we have two one-up bike trays on this swing out bike rack. So this can get out of the way so you can open both of these rear doors up. Let's step inside. Welcome inside. Before I go into the specific components of this build, I'll talk about the design highlights as well as the overall layout. Starting all the way at top, we have a white painted ceiling panel. We have Sugar Shack Glacier uh, upholstered wall panels. In our galley area, we have an aluminum backsplash, so all of the mess of the kitchen stays where it needs to be. We have a slate paper stone countertop. We have cherry slab door cabinetry. That's going to be for our uppers and our lowers. Our floor is going to be black coin, and that's going to be a nice rubber floor. And all the way in the rear, our bench seats are going to be Sunbrella Tuscan. When it comes to layout, we have two additional captain's chairs here. These are both going, both going to be from Shieldman. Uh, then moving back from there, we have our galley. So that's going to be a little bit on the driver and passenger side. We have storage for our dry flush toilet here uppers down the length of both sides. Then we have our dinette in the rear. This is going to convert into a secondary sleeping area. It's also going to house our plumbing and power systems. And then on top of that, we have another bed on a Happy Jack bed lift system. So you can lower this down and then you have a nice secondary, roughly queen size bed with a custom touch to mattress. And then all the way up top, we have our RRE Global Pop Top, which is going to be room for an additional two sleepers. So I'm going to start in the front and we'll work our way back. In the front of the vehicle here, we have two Shieldman Vario F captain's chairs. Um, so the really nice thing about these is that they have their three-point retractable seat belts. They can recline. So these are great um, if you are going to take additional riders on the road. Additionally, we have a mount for our lagoon mount table there. So this can kind of be turned into a bit more of a workstation here. We have a CR Lawrence T-vent window on either side. So these passengers can have a nice view out the uh, windows as well. And we have a air so that you can have a little bit of air back here as well. Moving rearward from there, we have our galley. Uh, so starting in the front, we have a 21 by 20 Rivati sink. So this is gonna be a drop-in sink with a cutting board insert. We have a 18 inch walnut butcher block flip up countertop extension there that can be used when this seat is in the forward position. Moving rearward, we have a two burner Impava induction cooktop. As I mentioned, we have the paper stone countertops. So these are going to be great because you can take hot things directly off of your Impava and put them on these countertops without making any sort of burn ring or anything like that. We have a nice drawer bank underneath that. The drawers are going to get larger as we get lower down. All of these are going to have push buttons or push button latches. So that's going to ensure that they stay closed while in transit. And then underneath our sink, we have a nice bifold door for our gray water tank. And you can close that up when it's not in use and latch it there. Moving over to the driver's side, we have a Cruise 200 isotherm fridge and freezer. So these are both gonna be door style. Our fridge and our freezer are separate. So this is great if you're either taking more people on the road or if you're going for a more prolonged journey. And then again, we just have a little bit more storage in this drawer bank, as well as all of our uppers, which as per usual are gonna be on gas struts. And again, have those push latches so things can be secured. Underneath this drawer, we're gonna have storage for our dry flush toilet. This is gonna be on 500 pound locking slides. So you can unsecure it and then pop it out into the aisleway here. And the great thing about the dry flush toilet is that you can either 
charge the batteries and take it outside, find a nice scenic spot, or you can use it in the van in the case of an emergency. In the rear of the vehicle here, we have our dinette. So a few nice features of this area. Um, first things first, we have two of these tables on a lagoon mount, so these can be swiveled in and out of the way, but we also have the table from the front of the vehicle that can be mounted here so that more people can enjoy this area if you're having dinner or something like that. When this area is not being used as a dinette, we can flip this side over and make a nice flat sleeping area for two so that you have a 75 inches long area for those lower riders and sleepers, and then same thing up above on this Happy Jack bed lift system. Starting on the passenger side, we have our plumbing system. So in here we have a 40 gallon fresh water tank. We have a water filtration system. And then we also have storage for our aqua hot hydronic heat and hot water system. That aqua hot is gonna service our indoor sink here, as well as our outdoor shower, which is gonna be at the side end of this um, base cabinet. Uh, that's also gonna be hot water serviced. And then that aqua hot is also gonna ensure that this main area is four season capable, stays warm, and none of the um, water lines are gonna freeze in the winter months. Moving over to the driver's side, we have storage for our power systems. So in here we have 800 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate battery bank. We have a 3000 watt inverter, and then we have 200 watts of solar coming in through the top. Above our dinette, we have two um, monitors here. So those are great for working or if you just wanna watch TV in bed. And then of course we have this bed on the Happy Jack bed lift system. So you can lower it down when you're ready to go to bed. And then you have another secondary sleeping area here, two reading lights at the head of the bed as well. When it comes to ventilation, we have a nomadic 12 volt AC unit and that's gonna be directly over this bed. We also have T-vent windows on either side of the dinette there. In the main living area, we have two additional Sierra Lawrence T-Vent windows. Those are going to have the awning style windows at the base. We also have a max air fan in the RRE Global Pop Top so that when it's down, it can pull air in or suck air out or it can give the people sleeping up there a nice breeze as well. When it comes to lighting, we have dimmable LED overhead dome lighting. We have our above cabinet lights and then we also have toe kick lighting down the aisle here. And then in that pop top, we're also going to have a secondary strip of lighting. So speaking of the t pop top, we have our RRE Global Pop Top. This is gonna allow us to sleep two additional passengers. The really nice thing about these are that you have uh, three windows, so some of them can be opened and have mesh bug screens, so it feels nice and open. You don't necessarily feel like you're in a tent in the top of a van. That wraps up this van tour. Again, I'm Lucy with Ross Monster. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a tour, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.